<laughs> Academics, get your ass on Twitch, bitch. They out here saying you fucking is. Bati Barbarian. So get your ass up on the internet, bitch. Let's hear it. I ain't got no coochie for you, but clear your name. Y'all see, see, see the fucking Tommy Hilfiger fucking boxes, you know what bro, I'm saying? Look. Wait, wait, hold on. Bro, bro, I don't know, I just woke up and this shit was on my face. Look. Wait, wait, hold on. Bro. Yo, homie, I'm a, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm a fan, bro. No, I'm a fan. I'm just saying, bro. I'm a fan, bro. I know, I know, I ain't jumping, bro. I'm just That's crazy. That's crazy. Six nine is okay, but he's definitely not making a lot of music right now. That's true. You gotta drop music. Drop music. Get a label to give you another big advance, or drop the shit independently. That's what you gotta do. But is he struggling? He's not, everybody is struggling when somebody sues you for $10 million. Just remember that. The game, quote unquote, is struggling. Yet he keeps getting new cars and keeps doing a lot of shit that would, would make you seem like he's rich. But he's struggling because there's a judgment out that he got to pay a young woman $7 million. Again, there's ways to play with it. But in reality, Ain't nobody finna pay out no fucking ten million dollars. First and foremost, if you if you're looking for the obvious, me and Six Nine has never ever been anything but friends like any other two dudes. We're not gay. I'm not gay. <laughs> like it's it's it, it 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 actually bothers me, and I got to make sure I smile when I'm kind of saying some of these things. Because these are the things that bother me the most. I think people realize the way to get under Axe skin is mention some gay shit and put it on his name. Or get a gay nigga to go at Axe. We just seen the saucy shit. So anyway, I'm going to just try to keep it light because I'm not trying to get too much. And let me be honest with you. Here's the truth. I think, and and and, and listen, I gave y'all the chance to come tell me why the fuck. I don't know if you and 6 9 are fucking back again. I don't know because people have been saying you offset side chick. Whatever y'all got going on, y'all should know. Leave Big Axe out of it. I don't know. I ain't talked to you in a long minute. Last time I talked to you, you was talking about how you wish you could talk to 6 9 The nigga moved on and left your ass in the dust. You was a hired prostitute. You was an escort, okay? The chick to get people off of his baby mama. Like, don't think too much about it. The bag's getting low now. Don't get mad at me. All y'all girls do. You see, y'all girls is really like an Airbnb. That's what y'all pussy is. Y'all get a rich nigga and you hopefully that nigga could just move in and just permanently just fuck you all day long and give you gifts. Now, let me keep breaking down this relationship. So, you know, obviously I'm telling you, this is fake. This is a woman who clearly must either be trying to do two, one of two things. She's been recently accused after Cardi B viciously beat her ass and her sister's ass in a club and they got banned from all New York clubs, right? Yeah, that's a fact. Cardi B got sued. That's a fact. I talked about it on live stream. And I, I was thinking, I'm like, is she, did she say this to spite me because I mentioned that? But that's a fact. I'm not even clowning you. That's a fact. Cardi B knew that you and your sister, y'all was having threesome sucking off, says dick toes, licking his balls, his ass, whatever the case is. Cardi B, who's a blood, she ran up in there with some niggas, told him to beat the brakes off, off of y'all. Y'all was getting hit with ice buckets, poles, all type of shit. I don't know what's going on. That's what happened. Now, with all of that being said, you was my man's girl, so I let it fly. I don't care. When I first saw you, I'm like, oh, okay, I could tell she's a she's a three thousand uh, uh, dollars uh, escort. Let me give you out a game if you're sitting at home, if you keep in score. All these bitches in the game right here, they're prostitutes. All of them. Okay. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Jesus. We don't give a fuck. Now. Most of them, or not even most of them, all of them are actually women who are pretty much just high-class high escorts. They're high-class escorts, man. They all got a price. The price tag be dangling. You just don't see it. So now here's the thing. 
They get an upgrade because some sucker, which, yeah, yes, rich niggas, everybody's suckers. Shit. You know who done fucked her? <laughs> Yo, and this is why, and I don't know where 6ix9ine is at right now, but I know 6ix9ine got to feel stupid. A Boogie had her as a side. Yo, she was a perennial side chick. Hall of Fame, all badges, 99. Side chick. Offset had her sucking toes, licking balls, eating ass while he had his real girl. A Boogie was fucking her. Shit, even one time before, A Boogie gave me the ouchie like this, but one time before, like, an everyday struggle episode, like, please don't. He said, he said I hope 6 9 ine ain't mad because I piped this bitch out. <laughs> Come on. Every nigga done piped the shorty out. This is a perennial side chick. 6 9 the first nigga who made her a wifey. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. There's a lot of y'all chicks who had to build the bodies, go to Dr. Miami. Oh, I'm glad we talking because I love to talk. I talk for a living. So let's get into it. Cool. So six nine wipes her up. When I recap the Cardi B shit, she got she caught feelings, call that nigga while he was in the rat hole, whatever the case is. He's like, yo, act please. Yo, they won't let me, they only let me talk to four people while I'm in here, and she's the only one who sits on the phone with me all day. And then he basically told her ass, hey, I want to know you're not fucking nobody. Go get 10 tattoos of me. Her stupid ass, because she can't, she can't fumble the bag. Ran, 10 tattoos. Face, 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 10 tattoos of the nigga, right? Now, I'm going to tell you why this chick is fucking stupid now. And this is why, if you got beef with 6 9 nigga, don't put my name in it no more. Facts, don't put my name in nothing, nothing like that. Period. <laughs> A lot of shit pissed me off, like this 6 9 and DJ Academic situation, you know? Why the hell 6 9 x over here talking shit, you know? Throwing, throwing him and his friend's name under the bus, you know? I mean, we have to deal with this type of stuff. We've seen this thing before, you know? Once a female's not getting her way, once you know, she's not uh, achieving what she's trying to get out the uh, situation, whatever the relationship is, you know, she gonna start uh, talking shit, talking shit about your family, talking shit about your friends, talking shit about your job, talking shit, you know, throwing you under the bus in any way, shape, or form, you know what I'm saying? They're just calling you all kind of punks or, you know, you lazy or this or that, whatever the case might be, she gonna throw it at you, you know. But it's a damn shame, you know, that a uh, dude's gotta come out and clear their name every time female get mad, you know, and just throw some shit up in the air. It is what it is, you know, DJ Academics <laughs> seem like he's pretty fucking upset about it, you know, um, throw a whole little 30-minute uh, rant up talking about how he's, uh, you know, not gay and this and that, you know, he really takes that shit offense, especially because he got into it with uh, Saucy Santana and shit, you know, but it is what it is, you know, uh, they gonna keep on defending themselves. Six nine is gonna keep on standing the cuts because they didn't ran up on him. Uh, DJ Academic is gonna keep on covering his bullshit, but it seems like he was just really bringing up some uh, major points that these females is crazy. You know, they got all this shit going on. You don't know. You meet them, you think that it's all good, and she got. Uh, bodies up to yin yang. She's been getting paid for sex this whole time, you know. Um, she's over here running around in different circles, you know. She could be fucking with the ops, you know what I'm saying? It's like um, Soldier Boy Baby Mama, once, once they messing with the ops, then your ops come out and be throwing slander at you or knowing where your location is or anything like that or, you know. Is uh, finding out little shit from her, you know, even if it's fake. Shit just gonna, uh, females just be talking sometimes, you know. Motherfuckers just be talking. So it is what it is, you know. 6 9 over here, still in this dumbass situation. Gotta pay off that girl, getting out of jail, you know, now beefing with uh, the ex bitch. So it is what it is. DJ Academics. Still going to be making his videos, you know, going on his rants, talk about these hoes. You know, DJ Academics cashed out for uh, a couple of these females. So it is what it is. He he always in that, uh, that little circle.
circle world of 304s, you know. You always got a hoe. You always got a hoe. You always arguing with a bitch. I could have made like a 20-minute video of all the shit that he's been through with these females, but it is what it is, you know. These hoes ain't loyal. They're going to keep on doing what they want to do. And uh, we're going to just keep on reporting on this shit.